Today we play Super Mario 3D World, collecting every green star and every stamp, facing every boss, and this is a fantastic game. I've spent so much time playing this game and making mods of it, and I don't even have a normal playthrough of this game on YouTube yet. So that's what we're going to do right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. Is it weird to feel nostalgic for this game? Because the first time I ever played this game was kind of recently. It was like around the time that I started my YouTube channel shortly after that. But man, I'm already feeling nostalgic. Okay, so our crew is walking along. Toad sees something. We all see a pipe. Why is this pipe sideways over here? Mario and Luigi, they pull out their hammers and their wrenches. They straighten out the clear pipe and everyone's clapping. And what's gonna pop out of here? Out comes all of these Mario items here. Oh, and a bird comes out at the end. I never realized the bird at the end. And here is a little green fairy. This fairy is called a Sprixie in this game. And it looks like this Sprixie needs some help. It's saying that Bowser is capturing all of the Sprixies in jars. And this is something that's really funny. In this game, Bowser is capturing these fairies in a jar and he's a villain. But in Zelda games, when Link catches a fairy in jars, he's a hero. Wait, that's actually like a magic trick. I never even realized that. Looks like Bowser pulled a magic trick over there. He catches the fairy in his hands and then from nowhere, just a jar suddenly appears. Peach goes after the fairy wanting to help. She falls into the pipe. Everyone chases after Luigi's like, he has to smack himself in the face to get ready to chase after here. Oh, man. Mario's like, let's -a go. We're -a going through a clear pipe right now. Mario, I don't like a clear pipe. Oh, we're in a clear pipe right now. That's what the Mario crew is saying. And we pop out of the pipe, we're at World 1 over here, and we can see that there's a Sprixie in a jar over there, so we have to go help out over here. And something really cool about this is, even before you go to the first level, like, you can explore what is on the world map. Okay, so let's head to the first level. Yeah, but, like, uh, we can't make it across here, of course. Like, once you clear some of the earlier levels, then a bridge forms and you can go across. But, man, I've done so many fun experiments with this game. Oh, I'm so excited to be playing this. This is uh, just such a nice game. Super Bell Hill is such a fantastic start to the level. Such a fun start to the level. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, is we'll head up here, scare away these birds. Let's get this Super Bell right over. Oh boy, let's get the Super Bell. Very nice. Got this Super Bell. Head through this pipe over here. Hello, doggy. It's not a dog. Yeah, I know it's a Goomba. Oh, I've been playing a lot of Kirby recently, and the enemies are like little wolf dog things. So, oh man, I've got to make sure to not accidentally call them doggies. Okay, so there's a... Green star for us. We got the first green star. There are some Goombas right down here. We can defeat the Goombas if we want to. It's like defeating a Goomba gives you some points and some coins. And we can go over here. You actually, uh, fun fact, you actually don't have to go into the pipe. You can actually just run across this pipe right here. And then you'll end up down here. And here's the checkpoint flag. So if you die, then you respawn right by that. Let's catch this rabbit here. Very nice. It's a good way to get the rabbit. Now... We do want to head into this pipe because there is a stamp for us right here. And does this clear pipe, does it remind you more of an elephant or a stethoscope, like a doctor's stethoscope? Kind of reminds me a bit of both of those. Okay, so we pop back out here, but you can see this tall tree here and that might be a bit suspicious. And that's because if you go up here, there is some time for us. And if you catch this rabbit, that makes this mushroom appear. And that turns us giant. Then we can go crush everything. You could actually accidentally crush that pipe. And then you wouldn't be able to enter that area until later. Okay, I actually don't want to defeat this guy right now. I'm going to come back to him. But for now, let's do this. Oh, and look, if you ground pound here, you can see that all the coins from all the blocks nearby pop out, which is pretty cool. Okay, and you can break these. You actually don't have to break those to get through, but that's one nice way to get through. Okay, so... Gonna head over here, the war bugs brings you back up. If you weren't able to bring the mega mushroom here in time, what you'd have to do is drop down here and then fall in here like that. You wanna hold down and then hold back up. Okay, but before we complete the level, or you know what, I was gonna, I was gonna say, let's go back and get a super bell to finish the level, but like this is actually okay. Okay, and if you get this coin here, then hold on, I want all of the coins. And this happens, I want all of the coins. There we go, and you really want to get the top of the goal pole. And there we go. We made it. We can do a nice dive into it. Man, in the Wii U version of this game, you can't do dives. And the characters are actually a lot slower in the Wii U version. So we're, of course, playing this Nintendo Switch version of this game. And man, after you've played the Nintendo Switch version for a while, it's so hard to go back and play the Wii U version. The Wii U version is so much more difficult. In this version of the game, if you collect a green star and then you die... 
and you keep playing the level, you still have the green star, but in the Wii U version of the game, if you get a green star and then you die, then, uh, you have to collect that green star again. It doesn't count that you have it. Okay, second level now, Koopa Troopa Cave. And to start off, there's a Koopa Troopa over here. So let's do this. Ha ha! Defeated the Koopa Troopa at his own game. All right, let's head down into this pipe over here. And let's make our way over here. You don't have to go into the pipe. You could actually go up like this. All right, now, was there a green star down here? I don't remember if there was or not. Okay, there's just this, but... Some of you might know- Oh no! I wanted that shell! I wanted that shell! Okay, we need a shell, we need a shell. We need a shell to do this trick. Okay, Goomba, don't cause me any trouble, okay? Now you are going to give me your shell, right bro? Right bro, give me your shell. Hold on, what if I do this? Yes! Okay, okay, we've got his shell. Now then, stay away, stay away. He's not gonna follow me here, is he? Is he? Okay, okay, good. He's just like that. Okay, so here's what you do. You bring a shell, you stand in this doorway right here, you face one way, then you want to throw, and then jump. And jump, and now you just repeatedly keep bouncing like this, and you can get so many lives doing this. You just keep getting lives up until the timer runs out, which is crazy because it's like if you bounce repeatedly on the shell, then it's like every time you bounce on an enemy without touching the ground, then your score goes up. And at a certain point, every bounce after that, you get an extra life. So you can do this trick right here to get as many lives as you want very early in the game so you probably won't run into a game over if you keep getting lives like this. We're getting a lot of lives here. And a lot of people let me know in comments, a lot of people, this, this is actually so nice. So many people were saying thank you in comments on my previous videos. They're saying, hey, thanks that you showed this trick in some of your videos because now I'm able to beat the game without getting a game over. And like some of the final levels like Champions Road, they're having trouble with that. But with this trick, you can have as many lives as you want. And the lives keep going up and keep going up until you reach this point. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. I actually don't want that Koopa to kill me. Let's be careful so that he doesn't get me. Let's run out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. How am I gonna get out without this Koopa getting me? I'm actually so scared. No, he got me. I lost the life. Okay. But we still do have this many lives, so that's okay because now we can head down here. And we can continue through. Let's take the pipe this time, and in here, hold on, one of these has a fire flower. Yeah, this one has a fire flower power up, so now we can shoot fireballs like this. Okay, and let's take our shell with us. Let's go, let's go. You know what? This would have been such a great spot. Wait, and you can shoot fireballs through like that, which is kind of cool, but this would have been such a great spot for a hidden green star because you can't see it and you have to go through the pipe to see it. Oh, hold on, and I remember, yeah, there's a hidden block right up there with the one up. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's continue through. Hold on, where are the green stars even? I've played through so many mods of- ah! 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 Let me up! 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 Okay, okay, okay. We are fine. We are fine. Okay, I've played through so many mods of this game that now when I play through the game normally, I'm like, wait, where are the green stars? Wait, is there a hidden block here? Oh, nice, nice. Wait, is there another one above it? Okay, nice, you can get another fire flower. I don't want another fire flower though. Okay, so the next green star is going to be in here. Wait, where's the stamp even? Okay, I think I remember where the stamp is. Okay, oh, bro, 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 bro. Let's go, okay, so we have a time limit, so we want to defeat these guys, very nice, there we go. All right, and now we are back over here. Do I get him or does he get me? Get the Goomba! Yeah! If you both go through the pipe, then you defeat the person that's in the pipe, which is pretty cool. Okay, is there anything up here? I think if I remember correctly- wait, 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 What was up here? I remember there being something up this way. What's here again? I don't remember what's here. Oh, a gold pipe! Okay, so here's a hidden area. And... If we go up here, we can go like- you can actually go into this one, and you get a lot of points for bouncing around like this. Uh-oh! Uh oh am I gonna die again? Okay, I didn't die. Very good. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, and those coins don't even matter. I'm already at max lives anyways. Okay, so let's go back. But if you want to explore a secret area, you can go over there. All right, so this has little Goombas in it. Yeah, that one has little Goombas. So let's continue this way. Hopefully I don't die again. That would not be good if I die. It's funny, I played all these hard mods of this game. But like when I'm doing just a basic playthrough of this, I, I'm dying from very simple things. Okay. Let's be careful here. I'm not dying to this guy. I'm not dying to you. Okay, is the stamp here? Yeah, here's the stamp. Okay. And I think the last green star is on top of a Goomba stack over here, right? Oh, no, it's not on top of the Goomba stack. It's in the middle of the Goomba stack. Okay, I need you guys to... Ah! How did I get the green star without squishing them? I thought that I was going to pancake all of them. But somehow that ended up happening. 
Ah, they're so close, they're so close. I wanna squish them. Let me squish them. Come on. Okay, let's squish them and this should work. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. I already squished one of them by jumping on it by accident. I didn't get to ground pound, but there we go, that gets them. Okay, so we have everything in the level. Now let's just not die to this final Koopa Troopa right over here, very scary times. So close to the goal, but there we go. We got him and top of the goal pull. There we go, 10,000 point pull grab. Got everything in this level, what a lovely level. I love Mario's little dance like this. Oh, and we also will be playing as the other characters because the other characters do have different abilities and you actually do need different characters in some different levels. Okay, so we are up to six green stars. The green stars are so rewarding to collect. Oh, and secret level appeared over here. Should we go up to the mushroom house first or take on these guys? Let's take on these guys because it'll be a bit more scary this way. We have to keep things intense for the audience. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go guys, charge me. You're charging chucks. Yeah, there we go. And how's that? Not bad, not bad, pretty fast clear over there, all right. Yeah, so if you ground pound the charging shucks, you actually defeat them in one hit. Normally if you just jump on them, or I think if you shoot fireballs at them or swipe at them with the cat suit power up, then just their helmet comes off, then you have to hit them a second time while their helmet is off. Now we have a bridge to over there, but first, let's stop by over here. And you can choose the big present or the little present. So one of these presents will give a good reward, and one of these presents will give just a mushroom. And the funny thing is, a lot of people when they play this game, in the first world, they end up picking the little present and it's right, and then in the second world, they pick the big present and it's right. But I actually have a video about this, where both of these, they actually have the exact same chance. So, we will pick the little one, let's see, and we do get the big reward, but that is just a coincidence. We did get lucky. There is about, I think if I remember correctly, it's about a 70% chance that you get the good reward, no matter which one you pick. So, let's go to Mount Beanpole next. Very exciting world coming up here. We have got to do a lot of scaling here, and the word bean pole, like bean, that makes, wait, is there a green star up here? I can't remember if there is. Let's see, is there a green star up on the other one? Yeah, there's a green star up on this one. Okay, okay, so that's where the green star is. Yeah, so bean pole, it reminds me a lot of uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, actually, and the Super Bell power-up, aka the Cat power-up, is such a great power-up to have in this level because it really helps you when you want to- Oh, and there's a hidden block here. Ah, get back on the level, Mario! Good thing we can climb up for a bit. Nice, a one-up mushroom. And we are at maximum lives anyways. Okay, so let's head in here now. And hold on, over here I think we have to get blue coins. Yeah, we have to hit this switch. And then, you want to collect these blue coins before the timer runs out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nice. Let's go like this, let's go like this. Okay, and hopefully we can get them all, let's see. Climb up, and there we go. And you actually don't need the super bell power up to get that last one. You can actually jump off the wall, do a wall kick off, and then dive into it if you have to. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go back to the level, and brings us right here to where the stamp is. But man, the, oh, let's uh, reach the stamp. Let's get the stamp. Let's, let's get the, get the stamp. And there we go. Hello there, kitty, kitty Goombas, cat Goombas. Let's hit that. Man, we're getting a lot of these power-ups. Okay, let's make our way here. We got this stamp. All we need is one more green star. Now, where's the last green star? Oh, I remember where the last green star is. Okay, Super Bell power-up is really very useful. Because look at how you can climb with it. You can just get up the level very, very quickly with it. Okay, so you do actually need a super belt for this part. I'm pretty sure you do, so that you can get up here. You climb up this. You want it to get up before it comes back down. Then you jump into the cloud here. And that brings us to our first cloud bonus area in the game. And you can also get a superstar power up like this. So that makes this section easier. All we have to do is time our jumps nicely. And... If we can just time our jumps nicely, then we will be able to get the green star. That's nice. And then you do want to drop down to end the bonus area. Then you just head over here. And fun fact, I remember playing through this with my mod that made it so that Peach can float forever. Okay, and let's just smack this big piranha plant over here. And you can actually float over to that island in the distance. 
Maybe if you use some speedrunning trick and you build up a lot of speed with Vectoring, maybe you'd also be able to do it. Okay, and now, with the Super Bell Power-Up, we can climb up to the top of the pole if we jump at it like that. That's very nice. The Super Bell Power-Up is really cool. One thing that's really cool about it is if you jump at a goal pole, you can climb up a bit. Like, if you jump into the very bottom, you might not be able to climb up to the very top. But if you're near the top, you can climb up a bit higher and reach the top, which is something that's really cool. All right, so another level is complete, and now two paths will open up for us. Oh, right, and there's a Captain Toad level coming up soon. That'll be exciting. Okay, so let's check out this one over here first. Plus, he's plunging falls. World 1-4. And in this level, this is the first level of the game. I don't know if it's the only level of the game like this. Yes, we're on Plessy. You can jump with A or B, and you use the joystick to move faster and slower and move left and right. But I don't know if this is the only level in the game where you actually have to play it twice to get all of the green stars. Okay, so let's be careful here. Wanna go like this? We want to jump nicely there. Okay, nice, and we got that. That's very nice, okay. So, you can go over here, or you can go the other way. Okay, can I bounce up there? Can I bounce off of you? Nice, okay. So you can get this. If you get all these uh, red coins, then you get a power-up. You don't get a green star, unfortunately, because they are red coins. Not Okay, I missed it anyways. But if you do get them all, you get some kind of power-up. But we already have our Super Bell power-up, and we have a Super Bell power-up in storage, so we don't want to use those up anyways. Okay, so let's head up here. Get that. Very nice. Got another one up. Okay, so instead of taking the waterfall shortcut, we're actually going to go to the right over here first. We're going to go like this. Let's go like this. Very nice. Now then, we're gonna get the stamp, and then we're gonna fall off on purpose. That's what we're gonna do, okay. We're gonna fall off on purpose because in the Nintendo Switch version of the game, if you collect something like that, then... Oh, but I guess we have to lose our Super Bell Power Up to do that. In the Nintendo Switch version, which is what we're playing right now, you can see that the game still says that we do have the stamp in the bottom left corner over here, and it says that we also have the first green star. So we actually don't have to collect this green star right over here again because we technically already have it and the reason that we fell off on purpose is because you can't get the stamp and the second green star together so what we oh wait but maybe i actually uh maybe i actually should have continued because the last green star is actually uh kind of hard to get you want to be careful that you can get it okay so we are at max lives again okay okay so this time instead of going to the right what we are going to do is we are going to go to the left over here through this waterfall. There's a secret path. Of course, there's a secret path with a waterfall, just like in basically every Zelda game you can imagine. They probably have that. Okay, but we also got a star power. Now what we want to do is jump at the right time to get that green star right over there. And when do you jump for that? How about now? And please get it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, it's very easy to jump too early or too late and miss that one. So maybe it's actually worth continuing after getting this stamp. Okay, so let's ground pound down through there, go through the pipe, and if you miss that green star, you can actually just jump off here, and then Mario dies, and then you can restart like that. Okay, so let's go like this, and top of the golf ball. Very nice. I was a bit scared to do that without the Super Bell power-up, but we got it, which is fantastic. And the level that is up next is a very, very exciting one. Man, all the levels in this game are just so unique and so creative. And it's actually surprising how many levels there are in this game. There's a crazy amount of levels in this game. All right, so we do have access to the Bowser level right now, and you only need 10 green stars for it, but we are going to get all the green stars. We are doing absolutely everything before we go to final boss of the world, Bowser. Okay, so this is a fun one. Switch Scramble Circus. So what you want to do is step on these question mark panels, so they turn into exclamation mark panels. And then, once all of them are lit up, then you have access to the next area like this. Okay, so let's head down here. Oh man, and uh, this is giving me uh, this is giving me memories of back when we played through. Nice, a Super Bowl, that, what is, that was the perfect one. That's exactly what I wanted. But yeah, this is giving me memories of back when we played this game, but the floor is lava. This was such a difficult level with the floor is lava. You have to move so carefully when the floor is lava. What you do is you basically move around all of the railings. Okay, so let's climb up here. There's the first green star. Nice hidden one over there. Okay, and got our checkpoint flag already. And it might be kind of surprising that you have the checkpoint flag so early on. And you don't want to double step on one, because if you double step on one, then it gets unlit like that. 
So let's just make our way across here, make our way across here, get this one over here, and just one more after this. And once you light up all of them, that actually defeats the enemy, so you don't have to defeat those enemies. Now then, let's make our way over here. Does this give us a fire flower? Or a super bell, I can't remember, but let's try and get all the red coins so that you can see what happens if you get all the red coins. If you get all the red coins, oh, that spawns a fire flower. We don't want the fire flower because the super bell power up is just so useful. Oh, oh, and we want to go over here, because right up there, that's where the green star is. It's always in the top left like that. So let's make our way up here. Now then, wait, 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 we have to get the stamp still. Where's the stamp? Oh, I remember where the stamp is. Okay, so I see that the third green star is right over here, so we're going to have all the green stars once we make it to here. Let's just be careful to not fall. And there you go, Magic Koopa is defeated. Get the green star right over here. Let's jump across. We want to go through over here. And right up there is the stamp. Oh, wait, I actually don't know if we have to step on all these because we have the super bell power up but either way we can just go like this get that and should be able to make it to the top of the goal pole and there we go we got it and one thing that's really cool about this level is how the music changes as you progress through the level there's a great use of music in this game really so many really good songs in this game and you know what even in non mario videos like sometimes in just like random meme compilation videos i see songs from this game used such a classic game well this game originally came out on the wii u right i think this was originally on the wii u oh and you know what we will go there let's go over there even though we don't need it i'll show you guys what's over here if you head over here this is a bonus stage, and if you can match up these things, then you can get a bunch of extra coins. So let's see. Ah, I was hoping that I'd be able to get all four to match up. I was focusing on, uh, I was focusing on the beat of the music, but if you're up slightly, then, uh, yeah, of course you don't get it. But yeah, a good way to try to get everything to match up is focus on the beat of the music. But the lives don't matter to us because we have maximum lives right now anyways. Okay, so before... Oh wait, and let's go in here also. Because what will be in here? There will be another secret toad house. It is nighttime. Should we go for the little one or the big one this time? Let's go for the big one. And this time we got just a mushroom. So sad, so sad. Just a mushroom. Okay, so that over there is taken care of. Another area complete, and let's go over to the Captain Toad area now. So this is, I guess, a bit like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I haven't played through that yet, but we play... There are certain levels in certain worlds where you... Like this one, where you play as Captain Toad, and Captain Toad can't jump. Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course in his search of five green stars. Make sure to get to all five in order to take them home. Yes, yeah, so he can move the camera, and just so you know, Captain Toad can't jump. Keep that in mind, but he can run. So you can move the camera, and you can move around, but you can't jump. And you know what? These would be really cool levels to speedrun, I think. All right, so let's get on this platform over here. Let's grab that, let's get over here. Let's get ready to run down here. All right, here we are. And wait, 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 is there a green star down here? Yeah, there's a green star right back there. Wait, get the green star, sir. There we go, got the green star. And let's make our way over here. Don't want to get hit by the enemies. Can I squeeze by? Yes, I was able to squeeze by. Okay, now I just have to wait for this platform over here. Please come down platform, very nice. And now, just two more green stars to go. Just have to make it across this bridge here. Scared away the birds. And there we go. We got all of the green stars in good time. I would say that that's good time. Speedruns are probably much faster. I don't know if they use the same strategy. I don't know if they'd go for like the one on the top first. Or sorry, I don't know if they'd go for the one across the platform first and then drop down. I don't know what would be the best way. I'd have to watch a speedrun of this. But there we go. Very nice. 21 green stars. Everything is fully complete up until now. And all that is left to do is the World One Castle, which is this right here. We need at least 10 green stars. We have 21. So we're going to help out that Sprixy right there. So, we use the green stars to shatter the lock over here. The gate is open, 
and Mario can head in. Let's go Bowser's Highway Showdown. This is a very exciting level coming up over here. So let's have a look. And you know what? Something really cool about the cast levels and the final levels like this is that this cutscene plays over here where you see the character going in, the door slams shut, the Bowser statue's eyes glow like that. So let's make our way over here. Let's hit this over here. Oh, that was a bit hard. How about that? Oh boy, neither of them hit the Goomba stack over here. Okay, but I know that there's a hidden block over here. So let's make our way right up here. Get this and we want to collect these green coins before they disappear. And if you do, then you get a green star like that, which is fantastic. Okay, and we want to be careful with these exploding things here. Okay, so you can get something here. Hold on, there isn't anything up here, is there? Okay, just extra time. Okay, because I've played through so many mods of this game, and sometimes my friends and I, sometimes we put green stars up there to hide green stars from each other. So I'm like, wait, 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 I have to make sure that there isn't a green star there. Okay, so we can do this. Let's dive through that guy. Okay, so that was this stamp in there. So we hit the exploding soccer ball against this, and then we were able to break it. Now then. I don't remember if this is super important or if there's just a side thing over here. I don't think we need to do this, right? Oh, oh, there's actually a green star up there. Okay, and let's get this as much as we can. And I think there might be a different way up here, right? Like if you don't have the super bell power up, is there a different way up? Let's see. Okay, but first, let's climb up these thwomps up here. Lots of extra time for us here, very nice. Oh, you probably actually uh, do need the super bell power up because you could just climb up here. You don't actually have to cat swipe that thing over there. And one way to climb up more, some of you might know this, is if you climb up, you can only climb up so high and then Mario starts, uh, oh, actually, this one you can just climb up all the way. But what you can do if you want to climb up higher is let's say you want to climb up. After a moment, you can't climb anymore and Mario starts swiping like that. If you hit the Z button, like ZL or ZR, then you can start climbing again, but you can only do that once. Well, once while you're on the wall. Yeah, and if you need another Super Bell Power Up, there's another Super Bell Power Up for you here. Goodbye, Goombas. Goodbye, Exploding Soccer Ball. I thought that that would hit me. Okay, let's go through this guy over here. There we go. And we got that green star. Very nice. We got all the green stars and the stamp. So we can head through here without any problems. Oh, 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 and there's something over here. Hold on, hold on. There's a secret over here. Which one was it, I think? Yeah, it's that one right there. For some reason, I was thinking it's a different one. If you explode that, then a mushroom actually comes out there. If you want a mushroom. Okay, so let's go through this warp box over here. And what's coming up next? Yeah, we're just doing some long jumps up here. What's coming up next is our showdown with Bowser. And the lighting in this game is so good. That's something that I haven't been saying enough. But I remember the first time that I played this, even on the Wii U version, it's like the lighting really, really stands out in this game. It really stood out in this game to me. Okay, face off against Bowser. So here's what you want to do. Stay back. He goes to throw one of those. Swipe at him. And there we go. Because if the bomb hits him, then it does a lot of damage. If the bomb hits the car, then it only does a bit of damage. Okay, there's another one. Let's go. Two hits on him. Very nice. Very nice. And it's nice to just stay back like this. Please give me another one. Ah, now he's shooting fire. Okay, stop with the fire. That's enough fire, bro. Give me another bomb. And whoop! I almost missed, but there we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. Okay, so that's a super fast way to do that boss fight. Bowser's defeated. It's so cartoon-like when you see a character just play like, like that. And they're like, oh, uh-oh, gravity affects me. But meanwhile, they're just floating like that. And Bowser has been defeated. This is actually so cool. It's so cool that you defeat Bowser in the first world of the game like this. All right, so, whoa, 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 I actually almost did a rolling long jump off and died there. That would have been so sad. That would have been so sad if I just lost like that. Okay, and looks like it is time to save the first Sprixie over here. So let's make our way over here. Yeah, I will collect all the coins because it is very satisfying. And let's, oh boy, I missed, I missed, I missed. Okay, at least I get to try again. That's good, that's good. Let's go like this. And there we go. Oh man, I was worried that I would miss it, but we did get the top of the goal pole. There we go. The Sprixie is saved. World 1 is 100 complete. You know what? And I've actually never 100% fully completed the entire game. Because when I first started playing this game, I was playing the Wii U version. And then the Switch version actually came out before I fully completed it. I was almost at Champions Road, but I didn't have all of the green stars yet. So this is actually going to be my first time 100% completing the game. I've 100% completed some of the worlds, 
but I've actually never completed normal Champions Road. And it's funny that I've completed all these difficult mods in this game that are super hard to do, but I've actually never completed Champions Road. So when we get to Champions Road and the final world, that'll actually be my first time playing that world normally. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you joining me so much on this journey. This was such a pleasant experience. I hope you all have a fantastic, very great day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.